I feel like you might be angry at me about this. On a monthly basis, Sunny costs me. Will there be renovating vlogs when you move into your house? The biggest ick. How many sunny side orders have you had? This is probably turning into a bit of an obsession. Is that normal? <laughs> That's probably not normal. Hi, yeah, can I get a chicken Big Mac, please? As a medium meal, that is. And can I also get some mozzarella dippers, please? Thank you. Got the goods. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in the car, I'm parked up, I'm nice and cosy and comfy. Got me tracky on today. And I've got a McDonald's. The traffic was so busy on the way from McDonald's to here that this is probably cold now. And I've not even checked that they've given me the right stuff. So, fingers crossed. Today, I'm gonna try the Chicken Big Mac. I'm gonna let you know what I think of it. As soon as I saw this on my Facebook timeline, I was like, oh my goodness, that's in my plan for the week. And I've asked you guys for your questions over on Instagram. We're gonna have a good old natter, good old catch up. Feel free to pause this video now and grab some food. We can eat together, chat together. I'll watch the car go by <laughs> i never usually get a big mac from mcdonald's but when it's new and it's chicken and everyone else is excited about it i am too got a tomato dip for my mozz dippers lovely and i bought this on amazon right you might laugh at this it's a little sauce holder and it goes in your air vent and then you just pop the sauce in there and it's such easy dipping <laughs> genuinely one of my favorite things i've bought for my car here she is wow it looks like a chicken burger it's got pickles in it and controversial but i actually like the pickles so i'm happy about that we've got the big mac sauce we've got cheese two chicken patties a whole load of bread and this is massive so i'm hoping hoping that my jaw issue is not going to be a problem today. Let's go. Oh, thumbnail first. Oh, I've got the sauce on my top. I'm very annoyed about that though. Mmm, I like. Bit slippery slidey. I want to try the new chicken patty on its own. Why is it different? just tastes like a chicken nugget to me if you like the big mac sauce and everything if you like the pickles you like the whole shabam you'll like it if you're gonna ask for it without the big mac sauce or without the gherkins just get a chicken burger honestly you've got to go hard or go home do you know what i'm actually gonna give it an eight out of ten i'm deducting a couple of points because it's so messy and it's literally sliding everywhere and it's got sauce on my new hoodie and i'm not very happy about that i've finished my big mac i've got absolutely no lipstick left but it was very decent i enjoyed it a lot except from this look at her who is she <laughs> anyway i'm gonna answer your questions while i eat my mozzarella dippers and my chips which are cold already first question is what's your unpopular opinion oh an unpopular opinion that i have i feel like you might be angry at me about this i don't like jls <laughs> i said it i just don't like their music i'm sure they're lovely people but like when they had their reunion i wasn't thrilled about it i was like okay <laughs> friends of mine believe they have bangers i do not i'm joking i don't hate jls i just probably wouldn't choose to listen to their music my little sauce holder honestly i'll take a picture and i'll insert it on screen it's so handy look how convenient this is i love it i'll link it down below it's only from amazon came in a pack of two as well so if you've got a mate they can have one naturally i get quite a lot of questions about sunny because i talk about her a lot i talk about like getting a puppy and having a dog and i think a lot of my audience now are like the same age as me and they're kind of like progressing in life moving on to the next step getting dogs all that good stuff so the next question is sunny okay at being left alone at home separation anxiety is so hard it is really hard she's kind of okay we have a long way to go i can leave her for between two and three hours during the daytime i've never tried to leave her in the evening which is something i really want to do because I really want to go out for dinner with my mum and dad. Like we go out for dinner separately, but we haven't been out for dinner all together since we brought her home. I also have the Furbo dog camera. So if you worry about your dog being at home on their own, I'd really recommend that. Favourite YouTubers slash Netflix shows right now. Favourite Netflix show, Cheer. I have been obsessed. I literally binged watched the whole two series of it. Another, it's not on Netflix, but a show we watched recently on BBC with my family was called The Responder. We really enjoyed that. It's got Martin Freeman in it. It's all about a corrupt police officer and the drug gang and stuff like that it's really really good it's really funny as well which we weren't expecting what made you want to start social media so i started my youtube channel when i was 15 and it was when i was about to do my gcse's and honestly when i was in school i was a massive worrier i still am i overthink everything and i was worrying about revising so much and to say that now seems silly because in the grand scheme of things like yeah at the time GCSEs are so important but if someone gave me an exam now would I revise absolutely not I'd just see how I get on like it's not the end of the world if I fail maybe don't take that advice if you're doing your GCSEs do you only get three mozzarella dips or have I been robbed bring back the cheese melts honestly so much better 
But yeah, I needed a distraction from revising. And I watched a lot of YouTube. I watched like Zoella, Louise, Tanya, Jim, Dan and Phil, everyone. So I was like, maybe I'll do this as an outlet. And here we are, eight years later. Oh my God. I'm so old. Okay, there's quite a few questions similar to this. So, did you buy a house a while ago? What is happening with it? Are you moving in? So, to answer the first question, yes, I did buy a house in early September, late August last year. So, what's happening with it? It is my house, but I don't live in it. I still live with my parents, and I don't plan to change that just yet. There are tenants in the house right now. They're a really lovely family. I've actually become really good friends with them, especially the mum. They've literally just got a little puppy, which I was thrilled about let me tell you when they asked me if they could get a puppy i think it was like on new year's day i did not hesitate in the slightest i actually gave them the condition of course you can get a puppy if i can come around for puppy cuddles which i have done so yeah the family are living in the house i don't really know what the future of the house is yet i don't know whether they're going to look to buy somewhere whether they want to stay for a while they'll definitely be in the house until at least september and then we'll kind of have a review see if they want to stay see if they want to go see if i feel like moving in yet or not if they move out but i don't don't want to move in i'll get some more tenants maybe for like a six months or something i'm literally just going with the flow seeing what happens seeing how i feel seeing how they feel and not stressing about it it's really nice to have the house in the back of my mind like i know that one day i will probably move into that house i wish i could show you guys obviously i can't because i'm not living there but it's really cozy homely it's a three bedroom semi-detached lovely garden lovely driveway round the corner from my family as well which means the world to me that's the most important factor i'm excited to show you it i promise i'll show you it one day whether i live there or if it's when the tenants move out or whatever will you ever do meetups again as restrictions ease oh meet and greets it's a funny thing i'm gonna say probably not i would be surprised if i do ever do like a meet and greet or meet up type of thing again at the time it felt right it was really fun i was obviously younger all my audience were younger as well but now I just feel like my life is in a different place and I don't think it would feel as natural anymore. I'm thinking about starting a small business but I have no idea where to start. Do you have any tips? I would argue that creating your branding is the most important part. Like come up with your name, your colour scheme, the graphic side of it, obviously what you're going to sell or do or what service you're going to provide. Maybe put together like a little mood board of what you want your business to look like and kind of go from there so you've got a picture in your head rather than just I want to start a business. Hmm, what should I do? Like, like what vibe am I going to go for? It's much easier if you can picture it in your head to just seem like you know what you're doing will give your customers confidence. Get on the Canva website make yourself a mood board my friend how do you get in the mindset to get stuff done because if i don't get stuff done i don't get paid i don't earn so that's like the pros and cons of being self-employed it's a blessing and a curse like i can't just rock up to a job do nothing for a day and still get paid for it if i do nothing for a day that's going to affect my paycheck at the end of the month but also like i said i love both of my jobs so much that luckily i don't find it that hard to be motivated whereas if we're talking like tidying your bedroom when it needs tidying zero motivation most of the time it will take me like probably two weeks weeks to think yeah i'm sick of looking at that mess now i'm gonna tidy it oh this is a nice question how are your parents hope you've all managed to avoid covid as i'm filming this touch wood we have all avoided the dreaded c i'd say i don't know how we've done it but actually we've been very careful like we're careful with who we socialize with we still socialize we still see our friends oh the sun's coming out let's put this over there we still all see our friends they see their friends i see my friends we do go out to restaurants and stuff but we don't go to like bars really busy places i don't know no, we've just been careful like me and my mum still wear face masks in the shops my dad doesn't really go into any shops to be honest i apologize for this son um but yeah so far we've all avoided covid i feel like everyone is going to get it at some point but we're definitely not as worried or as stressed about it anymore which is a really nice feeling we're just kind of like slowly getting back to normal life but like being a bit cautious at the same time if you know what i mean will there be renovating vlogs when you move into your house yes there definitely will be when the time comes one of the reasons that i let the tenants get a puppy is because i know i'm going to change absolutely everything in that house anyway like it doesn't matter if the skirting boards are chewed and stuff like that i'm going to completely renovate the entire thing i'm going to put an extension on the back i think fingers crossed this is in my head anyway this is like my ideal situation so i definitely will vlog all of that i'll be painting i know exactly the type of vibe i want someone else actually asked like what's your vibe for home decor so there's a tiktok account if any of you use tiktok you need to follow this page it's beautiful the account is called house number three their vibe is exactly what i would go for like very neutrals i'd probably add a little bit more color in like photo frames and stuff but it's neutrals it's light wood 
it's light beige it's so so beautiful and i think it's really timeless as well their bathroom oh my goodness it is to die for i love being nosy what is your wallpaper lock screen on your phone it is my little doodle would it be anything else it's been this picture for ages i think it's my favorite picture of her so cute someone said are you superstitious i am i am a massive believer in like angel numbers crystals i've actually paid for a palm reading course i got it ages ago during lockdown but i haven't done it yet it's like an online course i definitely want to do that i love anything like that i find it so fascinating i'm a massive believer in manifestation and superstitions 100 percent. if i see a singular magpie on its own you best believe i'm saluting it no matter where i am no matter who i'm with i will never walk over three drains sometimes it gets to the point where like this is probably turning into a bit of an obsession but sometimes i tell myself like if i don't do that something bad's gonna happen is that normal <laughs> that's probably not normal for example like when i was driving yesterday i was like oh, i'm gonna let this car go because if i let this car come out in front of me then something good's gonna happen to me <laughs> am i okay but yeah to answer your question massive believer in anything like that i won't even let sunny walk over three drains in case anything bad happens to her what are your handbag essentials i will tell you i've got my handbag right here we've got my lip liner that has disappeared from my lips oh my god this hand gel is the best one the body shop's coconut hand gel i've got a little tiny cloud perfume got that for christmas packet of tissues everywhere i've got a mask in here my card holder best card holder in the game i never carry a purse i only carry cards chewing gum lip oil hairband loads of receipts tesco club card absolute muffs and that's about it oh and a pair of earphones because i still haven't got airpods have you started drinking alcohol again i've actually had a few questions about this recently i think it's because i posted a story saying that i was going for cocktails with the girls when i said i was going for cocktails with the girls i meant the girls were going for cocktails and i was being the driver <laughs> so i don't really drink however i'm not like so much in the mindset of i don't drink anymore i think if i go out with the girls sometimes if i fancy a cocktail or if like i fancy a baileys in the evening love a baileys i'm not gonna be like no i don't drink whereas before I probably would have thought that but to be fair most of the time I'm the designated driver so most of the time I drive and I'm more than happy to because I'm not fussed about drinking at all since the new Sunnyside collection has arrived have you come up with a launch date yet probably Friday the 18th but that could change the stock only arrived yesterday but that gives me time to do a stock count to put it all away to send out the brand rep parcels and to get some content of the new stock so yeah it won't be any earlier than the 14th of February but probably in that week sometime have you ever had driving slash parking anxiety i need help <coughs> hell yes <laughs> bless me when i started learning to drive i felt sick before every single driving lesson i absolutely hated learning to drive it gave me such bad anxiety i don't even know why like i'm not a bad driver it wasn't like i was really bad at it and i couldn't do it i could do it i just did not enjoy it after i passed my test and i drove a bit more i never drove a lot in my last car i was kind of starting to get better and then i switched to this car which is a lot bigger than my last car this is the fiat 500 x i'll put a picture of her on screen here her name's flo i love her she's higher up she's bigger she's got a reverse camera as well so i can actually park now i would say that has been the best thing for my driving anxiety is having a bigger car i feel more like i belong on the road how many sunny side orders have you had oh i'm actually intrigued to know this from the beginning hello big lorry as i'm filming this i launched october november december january february five months ago today and i have had 1409 orders nearly one and a half thousand doggies have got sunny side products in their paw drobes you how much do you spend on sunny um not actually that much to be fair like i did definitely go crazy when i first got her on a monthly basis sunny costs me 40 pound for food 25 pound for insurance i use bought by many in case you're wondering and i pay 15 pounds for the vet plan which covers like her flea and wormer and health checks and stuff she cost me about 80 pound a month in bills and she goes to the groomers every six weeks which is 35 pounds do you have any icks the biggest ick in my opinion this is always my go-to is imagine them dropping a ping pong ball and it bouncing away and then trying to catch the ping pong ball oh i don't know why that just really gives me the ick like just catch it just pick it up and the final question for today is what is your five-year plan alice babes 
five years i haven't got a clue i can tell you one year this year i've got two family weddings to go to which i'm really excited about i'm a bridesmaid at one my brother's getting married those are like the highlights of our year as a family i want to do some little trips with my family see my friends again see some of my friends that live far away again because i haven't seen them for years now i just want to do nice things i want to go for walks on the seafront more when the weather's nice i want to go and get ice creams all the time love a rossies in south end i do my one year plan is just to enjoy life continue growing the business see where it takes me and keep filming vids for you all along the way anyway that concludes this little q a mukbang type thing chicken big mac eight out of ten mozzarella dippers were a little bit hard five out of ten chips were cold four out of ten all in all pretty successful <laughs> anywho Thank you for your questions if you sent one in let me know in the comments down below have you tried the chicken big mac yet or what is your go-to mcdonald's order i love asking people that question do you subscribe to see my future videos oh subscribe <laughs> but for now thanks for watching have a lovely week and i'll see you again very soon with another little video bye guys love ya